A police shooting that was in Tulsa, Oklahoma was caught on tape and prompted the chief of police there to ask the Justice Department to investigate. Police said they were responding to a call about an abandoned car in the middle of the road. In video from officers' dash cam and a helicopter, four officers are seen responding as Terrence Crutcher holds his hands up in the air and walks away from officers toward his stalled vehicle. Then in the video taken from the helicopter, you can hear this conversation. This guy's still walking. They had following commands. Not for Taser, I think. That's a, got a feeling that's about to happen. That looks like a bad dude, too. You all want to know who that big, bad dude was? That big, bad dude was my twin brother. That big, bad dude was a father. Mm. That big, bad dude was a son. That big, bad dude was enrolled at Tulsa Community College. Just wanting to make us proud. We're demanding today, immediately, that charges are pressed against this officer. Video recorded by a police helicopter and a patrol car's dash cam video show Crutcher being tased by Officer Tyler Turnbow and then fatally shot by Officer Betty Jo Shelby. The view from both cameras is obstructed in the moments before those actions. Police Chief Chuck Jordan assured that justice would be done and said he called in the Justice Department to ask for an investigation. One shot was fired uh, by Officer Shelby and a taser was deployed by Officer uh, Tyler Turnbow. Uh, I'm going to tell you right here now, there was no gun on the suspect or in the suspect's vehicle. I want to assure our community and I want to assure all of you and people across the nation who are going to be looking at this, we will achieve justice. Scott Wood is the attorney representing Officer Shelby. She's the one who fatally shot Grutcher. Wood says there's more to the story than the videos. Now, according to her lawyer, Shelby thought Crutcher was retrieving a weapon from his car when she opened fire. She had yelled repeatedly that he should get down and stop walking. Crutcher kept going, placing his hands in his pockets where she feared there could be a weapon. Again, federal and local authorities are investigating the shooting. We'll continue to track this story and keep you up to date as it develops.